Hello everybody, welcome to the tie of the round, probably. In the round of 64, season 40, we have got Dionysian with, well they're called Comfort Nurgle, but they're dwarves. <laughs> and Rick Reckless with Ogres. And og not Ogres at all, Ogres, and why is it Ogres? Hello, PC! Hello, Jimmy. What a game of Blood Bowl we have in store here. It is a huge Orc team that uh, Rick Reckless has brought this time around. Of course, Chalice winner. Um, and it was a huge Dwarf team that Dionysians brought. Of course, this, uh, you know, one of the great coaches, one of the innovators, the great thinkers, one of the people that other people look to, you know, to show them how to play Blood Bowl uh, here facing Dionysian. <laughs> and uh, what Dionysian has chosen to do is to drop two dwarves, both with guard, uh, in order to hire both a wizard and Morg for this game. That's wild, isn't it? I really like Morg. I really, really like Morg, even though he doubles gold. <laughs> but then the two guard beards is more or less the wizard price. Uh, wouldn't you rather have had the guard beards than a wiz here, if you're having Morg as well? Well, the problem is you're not getting them on the field, are you? They're only reserves. True. So... But now he has no reserves. Well, he's got one. So... And, like, you've got to win this game, and this game is a fucking hard game to win, isn't it? This is a hell of a team it is. for Rick. It right? is, but it's not showing a lot of respect to uh, to Rick's mighty blow and his strength advantage. Um, I, I just worry if the lack of reserves is going to be enough, and if maybe the Wiz is overkill. Wiz and Morg, I mean... But certainly that's the strategy Dio's gone with. Interestingly named Dwarf Team, uh, as you said, Comfort Nurgle. But uh, <laughs> that's because he did say he was just going to play Nurgle uh, in the qualifying season for this particular chalice. And then having not had a particularly joyful experience on Nurgle, he played these in secret off stream and mm. qualified them for the chalice instead. Well, yeah, Dwarves are a lot more comfortable than Nurgle. So already it's horrible for him, isn't it? They've got the strength up, yeah. all this guard. It's just... It's just brutal, and that is the great thing about Morgan. He can get you two Ds that you might yep. not be able to get otherwise. Yeah, it means you, you're pretty much always going to be able to start the turn with a hit somewhere that might be able to unlock other hits. Um, I mean, it's very much game strategy. Dio, known for his uh, deep thinking about you know what will get what done. Um, he will have mentally played this game already several times in his head. <laughs> always winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rick will also play this game mentally. <laughs> <laughs> but with a very different use of the word mentally. Um, that, I don't know, I mean, Rick's a challenge yet, winner now, we owe him yeah. more respect than that. Yeah, no, I'm, it's just joking. But he should yeah. have stood Morg up already, shouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely, but presumably Morg's doing something exciting, which is why he isn't. No, he's, he's not doing anything exciting, he's assisting this to make it a 2D, isn't it? So he should, he should have been up earlier, but... Yeah, he should have been up. No, I thought he was going to dodge because of his agility 3. Yeah. But if he's just an assist, then he should have been up much, much earlier. Yeah. Two nice chips from Rick, uh, from Dio here, isn't it? The, uh... Yep. Definitely getting on top of these orcs already. Mm. But even two men down, like... Dio's got to protect the ball, hasn't he? So, like, although yeah. Rick's two players down, he's still got the strength and, and everything with these orcs. And not yeah, that much there's the so much strength on this team, so much guard, so much mighty blow that, yeah, it, it, it's still always going to have weapons, isn't it? Yeah. Now, Dio famously, as Dwarves, quite likes to stabilise, uh, take up the sort of position he's in now, do a lot of hitting, and then move forward quite late in the half, and particularly with a wizard as assurance and up in numbers, I think that's uh, probably what we're likely to see. Yeah. Not what you do, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> well, I mean, he's very, very successful with his strategy. Exactly, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean. Like that, That's why I kind of hate that it's been kind of used as a euphemism, right? Because it is genuinely who can say who's right or wrong. Because Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, mm. sometimes that's the case. Mm. I mean, sometimes we are joking. You know, there are things that are genuinely terrible. <laughs> um, but a lot of the time it's it's interpretive or it's, you know, do you want the advantage early or late or, you know, where are you looking to gain and, and how are you looking to win the game? And those things can be very, very open to interpretation. So a really big stable wall of dwarves here, all just guard locking each other, keeping that, uh, that guard right up in the face of these strong orcs. Very little protection around the back, but then there's nothing really threatening the back of these dwarves right now. Yeah, and, and of course, the... Morg doing a, a massive job controlling this uh, this beast of a troll. 
Yeah, yeah, that's great, isn't it? Uh, more setting the edge, as it were. Yep. I mean, the great thing is he can hold that troll and up to two other players. If that troll wants to hit him, it needs two assists, which is huge. Yep. Yeah, I think he, I think he's incredible in stalks, basically. Yeah. But again, they come without the claw to to mock his armor. <laughs> yeah. And it is. It's that, as you said, it's that guaranteed. You can open your round with Morg and get a hit, which should be able to open other things up, which is so nice on a low strength team. I say low strength. I mean, you know, Dio is not without strength ups himself, is he? He's not. No. Um. I thought there were two. Uh, yes, there are, aren't they? The, the stunned one just in front of Morg is the other plus strength. Yeah. Oh. And the, the Blitz are defending the back of this cage. So another double skull for Dio, down to one reroll yep. already. And of course, rolled the double skull with Morg that he didn't reroll. So while he's had some good luck with his two removals, very early removals, he's had some rubbish block yes. dice. Brutal dice, but of course dice don't exist at Dio, so he'll uh, he'll be wondering why things aren't going well. <laughs> Now, he is slightly weak over on the Morgue side. Mm, yeah, which is, I guess, why he didn't fall. Oh, but trying to activate the troll. I mean, it, if you're not going to ever assist it, then activating it first action and seeing if it's going to is the right time to do it. Yeah. Um, but that tells me he's not doing what I would have done, which is using the Black Orc to one die the Slayer off. Okay. I think if he was getting that, he was going for the one die on the ball. Yeah, I think he um, was, yeah. Even if it required a, a three plus, two plus, two plus, which I, I absolutely think was the right move. Interesting. See, I would have, I would have liked to have done that first because then if you don't get the, if you get the ball down like he did, he could have come back and helped the troll up, couldn't he? So, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I think it was the right plan, but yes, because as you said, the four, the uh, the backup plan was to blitz that piece off. Then, as you say, the assist is there for the troll, which could have then been stood on more controlling him. Mm. Because although Morg controls the troll, the, the same is true the other way around. Yeah, I quite like pushing forward with Morg now, but he, he's not. He's just turning Morg into a hit, which will then, to be fair, put Morg on the yeah. Rhino and the troll, which is nice. Yes, yeah, which is a two, good two for one value there, particularly as he's up numbers. Yeah. A big, big stun over on the ball carrier side means that there's loads of space available now. Oh god, there's lunatics there. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> Drunken lunatics outside my house. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't have so, hit Like, you see, now he's just potatoing, isn't he? Whereas, yes, if, he had blitzed, if he moved that guy off, um, Maul could have pushed up to yeah, like could've, six. Yeah, pushed up and he could be a defender. Yeah. But that's particularly cool. as he didn't knock over the strength for thrower, it's a simple three plus for two die, isn't it? One, yeah. two, a three plus, two plus. And here it comes. Yeah, didn't like Bang, got him. Now, there's not a lot of options to recover this. Um, I think he's got to take the second go for it and pick it up, doesn't he? No, nope, he's not. Mm. Okay, he's just getting tackle zones on the ball. Yeah, I think he had to pick up with the air. Yeah, I think he had to. Oh, no, he's doing the casual 4 plus, 3 plus. And then another 3 plus to pick up. Reroll gone. I put two more go for it so after the reroll. <laughs> well, look, that is. That's definitely safer than my idea, which would have had the Orc thrower with the ball next to the runner. God, no, um, five plus. But five. that's a lot of risk before picking the ball up. Yeah. But the outcome is much better than the lower risk play I was looking at. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, well, that, that is a who's to say what's right and wrong, Jim, I suppose, because the outcome is fantastic, but the risk seemed high. Yes, I... Whereas my outcome would have been slightly less good. Um, I mean, I'd still have done the 4 plus 3 plus, but I'd have done it after picking the ball up. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing. Like, having the ball on a strength 4 is really, really good. <laughs> Even if he can move people, it down is on a strength four, Jim. Yeah, I know, I know, but like it might not have been, isn't it? That's the thing. If he yes, fails or charges, yeah. it's not. Whereas yeah. if you pick up first, then at least it's on that strength four. And, and to be fair, by the time he chose that plan, he still had the reroll for the four plus three plus. So perhaps yeah. that factored it. Yeah, maybe. Um, but I mean, it's it's absolutely screwed, Dio, hasn't it? 
yes, it's, that's been that isn't it has worked out incredibly well for sure. Very hard for Dino now. Well, the ball is base, but of course it's our strength four piece. Ooh, the one in nine's Ooh. not helpful. Re rolled into another one in nine. And he, and he dodges anyway. Oh, that was a ballsy three plus that dodge, was spicy, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> Feels the next I mean, I, one. I think he had to do it, but wow. That is unbelievable. So he moves the uh, Slayer back to protect against this guy running this way. Yep. And he hits with Morg, and it's Dub Skulls. So he wow. doesn't even base the ball first or anything. Yeah, that's... I mean, it was a 2 plus to base, but it, it because it had to get done. And it was the most important thing to do that turn, not hitting with Morg. But that's the second dub from Morg, isn't it? I mean, yeah. this may make Dio question some of his lack of belief in dice. <laughs> um, the fact that dice have so massively impacted on the outcome of this game so far. Yeah. And that, this, these GFIs now, so he put him there to cover against him and then was putting yep. on Morg to deal with that. And now Morg hasn't dealt with that. And now all of a no, sudden... now we have a full-on scoring, scoring threat. Mm. Which is untouchable. Oh! We okay. We've got another reroll, so we could we threw the reroll at that. That was fine. And we put a are we putting a second scoring threat in? Fantastic. Yeah, I think you make you make the dodge for the second scoring threat first, though, don't you? Probably yes. Yeah. So we've got Morg hit on the ball, but he is a bludger, so it's not that good. Uh, but it looks like he's going for the chain. Needs a pow to make this good really yeah he can get uh, get some contact on that other ball on that other scoring threat mm. the problem is if this fails there isn't a plan B is there we, we would have nothing in front I suppose we can still dodge more to put him in front of the ball carrier yeah so there is slightly a plan B. but get we get the power and there. we get the promotion so that's uh, that's a very sexy play there that we can now get yeah, a full-on uh, no mark. It's a turn we need to, and Morg does do the yeah. Morg does do the little dodge to stand in front of the ball. Now I think that's probably going to be enough to stop this uh, this turnover touchdown. But this guy doesn't do nice anything. Turn. This guy doesn't do anything. So maybe he should have stood him up last, and then like you know, maybe Morg could have GFI'd, and then maybe this guy could have like come here. So that, you know, put I, I quite players, like Morg uh, where he is because you know if you GFI and then fail, there's a, a an easier dodge off, isn't there? Of course, but so you need to get both of them there. Yeah. Um, but yes, you're right. He wasn't doing anything. He needed to find something better to do with him. But you could have moved him first. Yes, past him. Oh. Like you I mean, could have moved him first, first and then gone. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. He failed. He failed the pass. Oh, he failed the catch. He made the pass. Failed the catch. Um, Yes, and then if you fail the first three plus to dodge more, it's as bad as it would have been anyway. Um, but if you make it, even if you fail to go for it, you should still be alive, and then you land in the square the other side, don't you? So it's the same as if you get there, pretty much. So I think you're right. I think that is better. Yeah, maybe. Um, well, it didn't happen, so it's nil-nil. Yeah. Uh, and okay. Rick's ball. Where's Rick's team, Jim? Rick's team is gone because, of course, he took another cast in a, in the he middle did. of all that that we completely but didn't. He have some lots point. of other orcs. Where have they all gone? Uh, three of them oh, have been they hit by... to the heat. And he's killed. Well, surely, if, if three hood or dwarves went as well, that would be ruinous because he didn't have a big bench. Um, he lost two. There's two dwarves now, but as that's he only had a bench of one. That means he's still at ten, doesn't it? Five, yep. So, yeah, ten, and the orcs are at eight. Ooh, one is a that's goblin. not very good. Yeah, that's mm. seven and a half then. And disappointing because we missed this Kaz, right? So the first Kaz was a badly hurt. The second yep. Kaz um, was a miss next. And I think this one you had to apple because just because this guy might not come back, this guy isn't coming back. And I know it's horrible to, like, it's the worst one to apple, isn't it? It's not yes. even a perm. 
but no. you need him for this game and you need him for the next one as well. So it, I, think... I think if you let the first badly her go, yeah, then you're right. You need to, whatever it is, pretty much, you need to throw the apple at the second one because. Yeah. Well, I mean, particularly with the heat, I mean, you can end up like this where suddenly you've stopped the touchdown, it all looks brilliant, and then it doesn't. It looks difficult. Although, hey, that's helped. That's got the numbers back to 9 8. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't like all this from Rick with this very clumped up position here. Is he just going for the well, uh, we're, goblin? We're going pass? with CTM, aren't we? We're going to try and get our heat people back by throwing for the. I mean, technically, the heat is terrible. But if we score on turn two, one or two, it's brilliant. Because we guarantee get our three back. He's done uh, the pick up. And he only gets two guaranteed back. Oh, and he's he yeah. as well. But, Snaking the pick up is terrible. Oh, and here comes the fireball. Yeah, I really like that, actually. I really like that fireball. I know it's been yeah, very lucky. It's, <laughs> it's been very lucky, but I think it's, yeah, it's great. It stops the whole, well, yeah, look, it stops the TTM nonsense. Yeah. Good chance of either getting the troll or the goblin down. Really good chance of just destroying this entire drive, which it looks like it's done. Yeah. Um, I'd be amazed if Dio doesn't have the ball at the end of this turn. Yeah, that, that was the killer, really. That was the another big weakness of this. Like, the main, like it was one thing have, going for the throw team, but then making the team so compact, it's just like it's so all in, isn't it? Like, if only it this is. guy had gone out wide or something... I mean, if he had, because, you know, look where the ball landed. If he had not snaked that pick up, done the handoff, done the throw, you know, hugely different game. That is a game-changing move, but I, I'm, I think you're right. I'm not sure we needed all the orbs there. And if we were going all in on the throw teammate, didn't we need a couple of others as potential pick-up and handoffs to the goblins set out wide left and right? So it's a bit of an odd setup, um, and it's... I mean, lost in the game. It look right to me. Yeah. Though he's got a strength four next to the ball, so that's a he's thing. Got, yeah, he's got an instant two. two die, natural. There we are, gets it. He's blitzing, so the strength four can pick it up, and that's a hard thing to get it off. Unless you've got a strength four dwarf right by it. <laughs> or a strength six oh. ogre right next to it. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, one battle at a time, he's got the ball back. <laughs> that's good. He stood his troll up, look. Yeah. And I think he threw the apo at the KO that happened in the fireball. Yeah, he did, yeah. So, Morg just even has to, doesn't even have to blitz, does he? he can no, Morg, as you're just random basing like you would with a rookie lineman. <laughs> Great use of Morg there. I'm sure he's very proud. Yeah. And, uh, hello, Flicky Flag, hello, C Shark. Yes, of course, I knew the first game of Blood Bowl was Twin Dwarves and Hawks. That was a long time ago, that message, but yeah. And, of course, takes the ball back again. Well, this is the end, isn't it? Yep. It shouldn't he have just been, like, two squares back? Don't yes, I mean, technically a four plus three plus two plus two plus gives him two die here, and that's not needed. He mm. could have made that harder. Oh, dub scores off from Rick, that makes it harder. Yeah. I mean, I don't... You could there theoretically say that if he's going to do the ridiculous ball hit, he should do it first, so he's got his re-roll, but... I don't blame him taking some hits. I mean, it's this is already early, isn't it? He's just trying to kill three dwarves on three hits, and then <laughs> suddenly feel he might be back in the game. Yeah, well, he's blitzed with his, uh, his, his downed lineman there, so I'm not going yeah. for the hit. Yeah, no, he's trying to force the score and then be 1-1 one, one at the end of the game. Remember, he has got three to come back from the heat, guaranteed. Um, yeah. And the KO to roll. And the Dwarves only get two back from the heat, guaranteed. So there's a chance they actually end up losing more than the Orcs on the next one, just by sort of you know, who's on the pitch and who's automatically coming back. That's true, he definitely doesn't want to score, does he? With three of them out, and maybe he's four coming back, right? With the uh, yeah, tail yeah. as well. No, it's a turn 16 score if he possibly can. Also because he's in total control, so there's you know, very little risk of attrition, very little... You know, the hits that Rick takes are all fairly desperate. They're not nice big ones with lots of dice like to come up and It's surprisingly bad for Dio, though, right? He's got three on two up here. 
Yep. So numbered like four on two there. And then, you know, so like while he's got the advantage down here, it's uh, it's a tenuous grasp yes, on the game, isn't it? It's because his strength four up. blitzer and Morg and his super runner are the three by the ball. Oh, look at this double dodge. Oh, Gets wow. Lovely. Lovely. Gets his uh, 2D with the plus strength, knocks the ball, and of course, because this the way of life. Um, the ball is now on Morgenthorpe. Wow. What a scatter so and what a catch. Who's double based, so he's yeah, that's that's he might as well give up. Well yes, he's just got a blitz with him, hasn't he? He's got he's got a blitz away so he can't get hit in the end zone basically. So yeah. blitz, blitz missed a throw. And then run away. Yeah, so that he's not forced to have a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Maybe dodge away this guy at the end of at the end of the turn as well. Oh, but look, he's blitzing with him. And he takes the push instead of the ball down. Okay. I don't really like that. I don't like any of that by... Uh, no, by I, I'm not entirely sure why some of it's happening, but it is. Now he's just going to punch him, but even if he powers him, he can blitz him and then block him, so... Yeah, I really like. Yeah. Okay, he didn't. He didn't get the knockdown. But if you blitz him, and if you power him, then you can just go safe. You can just blitz on red die and push it onto the other strength of four, who can then push on red die and force the score, and you get the ball back. Yeah. So Rick's going to be do the safe moves first, and then go for that, surely. With three turns, yeah. So the goblin comes up. Oh. Gets the push. There we are. Pushes on the first set. Although that's taken the reroll. Yeah. Second set's trickier now, but they've still got to be tried. Oh, gets the big double pals. Um, so no touchdown. Where is that ball going? If, if only he'd blitzed, he could have dodged away, but then he's failed the dodge anyway. Yeah, yeah so he would have walked away because that's how dice work, honest. Um, well, that's not a great spot for it to have landed, but I guess it could be worse. The problem is that agility um, runner, isn't it? Yes. So he needs an assist to, or to risk a one die to leverage off the, uh, the strength four it's free thrower to... from the strength four blitz. <laughs> yeah, he's freed his. He's freed his. Uh... He's freed the, the yeah the slayer to give him that. There we go. Gets the pounds on the two die. Now it's just a two plus for this runner to be on pick up. Oh, Still hasn't stood up. That's a more, huge yeah. KO. That is massive. Yeah. Mister Thor, armor eight costing him. Yeah, again late in the turn with Morg standing up. Okay, perhaps he was moving there and he needed to clear the route, so perhaps this time it's forgiven. Yeah. And the strength four games over as sort of... Oh, he's going to eye cage between those two, isn't he? Yeah, yes. There we go. Of course, that's a strength four blitzer, though, and a strength three runner, so there's one die just any time he wants it. Just on a three plus, he can hit for one die. It looks like that's his exact plan. And there is that goblin to carry on the other side to fetch it. So if he gets mm -hmm. it down on the five plus, makes the three plus. Oh, gotta re roll it. Oh, gets the five. Oh, gets the five plus. Gets a big old six. And the removal. And the KO. Out. That's huge, too. Yeah, apple. Big apple. Yeah, straight in with the apple. And now the goblin four pluses. Yes, it does. Dodges away from not tackle. <laughs> Should he have passed it to this guy? GFIs. Yeah, I think you throw then. I know you've used your reroll, but if it goes to ground, it's not much worse because nothing much can get there anyway. Yeah, you have to make these two hits because otherwise there'd have been a chain on to uh, free, yes. free these guys up. Oh no, I tell a lie, there's a blitz in the camp. Isn't there? Yep, yeah, after, blitz, this, just after range. this power, there's a blitz that's just in range. So yes, you definitely had to throw it. Because 2 plus 2 plus for 2 die here. Ooh. Ooh, if this snakes, Rick wins, probably. <laughs> oh, oh, but it doesn't. He gets the big old power. And the armor break. Brutal. Oh, and the armor break. Well, from a chance to win it to... I would imagine this is pretty... Although there's not a lot of time left, but this is pretty tough for Dio. And that was his last reroll. Yeah. And this okay, this move. Failed chances here. 
Yeah, this is huge in this move seven. I thought I used the up on that, despite not, you know I'm still being stunned after it. So he's only going to get him up on turn fifteen, and then have turn sixteen. So this is really pushing it to get this. I think up. that's overtime equity, Jim. I think that's in case it goes to overtime. He definitely wants that player on the pitch, either on offense or defense. But he's not definitely on the pitch. Oh no, the other heat's gone. The heat's gone. Okay. It, it's <laughs> I was going to say, he's not definitely on the pitch though, it's a, two, a 4 plus instead of a 2 plus, but it's not, okay. <laughs> but even then, it's, you know, any chance to get that player on the pitch is worth having. Not okay, so there, yeah, this, this ball's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's 3 in as well, so he can just pick it up and then be in scoring range. I don't know if he could have just picked up on Morg though. I don't know where Morg was. Uh, yeah, no, Morg, because it's turn 15, Morg could have picked it up, but then wouldn't have been in range. Okay. Morg's full range took him where he is now. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. So the Blitzer was the only option, but it did the 3 plus naked. And now it uh, doesn't need any go for it to score. No. So the Orcs. There is a troll really here. They have though. a lot of play here. Yeah, no, they do. This is <laughs> he's freed up the troll for a dodge two plus two plus two die. He's made them, and he's knocked the ball carrier over. Fantastic! What a beautiful play from Rim. The only thing on the field that worked, and he found it and tried it. Oh no! Oh, but that goblin needs to be a tackle zone on the ball. No. Doesn't re-roll it. Doesn't re-roll it. Doesn't put his last re-roll in. And I, I'm not sure that's quite strong enough with that other agility runner still around. Yeah, he's just in range, isn't he? He needs to power the... Uh, I don't know, it just needs to push the uh, troll with Morg. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. GFI, GFI. Yeah, isn't that the one that he apoed? It is, yeah. So what, it is. What so that is going to be a game winner. If... Makes the first two plus naked. Pickup has a reroll, makes it. Two naked go for it. Oh, luck a dog. Three naked two pluses and a one in 36 fell in the middle. Wow. Makes them, wins the game in normal time. What a roller coaster of a game. It was incredible, wasn't it? This was this was something else, like, especially live as well, because, like, you know, with the, with the compressed replay, like, the swings are more more instantaneous aren't they and it's not yeah. quite as good but they you don't have the time to really surf those ups and downs quite exactly. so much exactly yeah yeah when it was live it was crazy because it's like oh it's totally lost wait what's happened <laughs> Dio probably had that game won five times and each time Rick just snatched it back um, I did watch the very end of this live in the commentary booth uh, because uh, uh, Carjo, who was doing the comms thought he might have to go back to work so I popped in just in case he needed me and what I said then, I'll repeat now. I mean, I thought Rick, what was beautiful about that game from Rick's point of view, I know he lost, but he took a lot of the more reckless behavior you perhaps saw from Rick in everyday standard gaming situations six months ago. And he kept it back and used it at exactly the right times, in the right ways, on the right turns. I know he did a lot of things that were incredibly lucky, but they were the only things that worked. So they were the right things to try. And he found those incredibly creative ways to keep himself in the game. It went for those two and three percent chances, and sometimes that's what you've got to do. That's what really separates the people that that seem to get those seventy-plus win percents, is that they don't give up. They they find those little two percents, and every time that you push at a two percent, if you do that five, six times in a game, over a hundred games, that's going to start to make differences. And Rick did that beautifully today. It didn't quite work, but it so nearly did. Yeah, it was, it was great, wasn't it? I, I think he probably played better than Dio that game. And, I think uh, he did. Yeah. I thought there were a few little moves that we thought from Dio that that doesn't seem ideal. I mean, there were some really solid turns, as there always are with Dio. I mean, he's a hell of a coach. He sure is. But I thought there were more turns. I thought that's not a great position and that's not a great hit. Mm -hmm. um, but that dwarf team lives on, though it's smaller. You know, he's cut its throat to keep it tight. Let's see if he's right and that's the way to head forwards. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That was an ill-timed yawn. <laughs> thank you very much, PC. Glorious as always. Pleasure.
Uh, congrats, Dio. Commiserations, Rick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.